In this tutorial video, we're going to be seeing how to use a constructor with parameters as opposed to a default constructor that we saw in the previous video. So just to remind you all quickly, constructors are used to initialize the instance variables of an object. So in the previous video, we saw what a default constructor was, so a constructor with no parameters. And now we're going to be looking at the parameterized constructor or constructor with parameters, if you prefer. So this, as you can see in the example, we have our um, class named dog here with uh, some instance variables uh, already created. And then we have our parameterized constructor, which has its parameters listed here. So as you can see, name and color, which are both uh, string types. And then uh, at the very end of our constructor, we, we are assigning um, those parameters of the constructor, so name and color, to the uh, instance variables that we had at the beginning. So that's how, uh, that's the theory behind a parameterized constructor. In the next step, we're going to try and apply this to uh, a practical example. So now that we've understood the theory behind a constructor with parameters, let's try and create one uh, in Eclipse. So again, we're in our class named dog here with the instance variables already created. So let's now create our um, constructor. So public, remember the constructor must always have the same name as your class, so dog. And because it's a constructor with parameters, we're going to input those uh, parameter variables. So example, string name, string color, and then uh, int, age for example open up the brackets like so so this is our constructor with parameters name color and age we're going to print out the following sentence like we did for the default constructor just so you understand that we are using a constructor with parameters like so and now we're going to assign those parameters to the instance variables or the objects fields, if you prefer. So we're going to start with the first uh, field, name dog, which we will assign uh, to the, var to the uh, parameter name, like so. And same principle for the color of the dog. Going to assign it to the parameter color of our constructor, and then finally uh, the age, like so. So <clears throat> now that we've done that, let's uh, now create uh, uh, an object dog using this constructor. So let's go to our main class here, and then object dog. Let's name it dog two equals new so that we'll create a new object and then a constructor dog and because it's a constructor with parameters uh, we're basically going to be inputting those parameters or what we want those parameters to have as a value so for example as you can see uh, we're starting off with the parameter name so basically what we're going to do here is add uh, a name so let's say, for example, Wilbur. So that will be the name of our dog. Then we're going to get, then we're sorry. Then we're going to move on to the next parameter. So the next parameter is the color. So we're going to add a color. So I don't know. Let's say black. And then finally the age. So uh, let's say uh, I don't know eight eight years old. So now when we're going to run this um, program, it's going to create a dog uh, using the constructor with the parameters that we've uh, input here. And as you can see, that's the case. So that's how uh, you use a constructor with parameters in Java.